Yo, what's good, you guys? It's Tuesday. You know what that means. Oh, it's Tutorial Tuesday, baby. We about to go ahead and drop a tutorial. Now, I don't like when people do tutorials and they take 15 minutes to get to the actual tutorial part, so I'm not going to do that. But I do have to preface this by saying if this is your first time here, well, it's probably most of y'all first times here because um, I haven't done one of these in a year and a half. But um, I use Adobe products. So what that means is that I'm going to be teaching from Adobe Premiere, Adobe After Effects, Adobe Lightroom, and Adobe Photoshop. I don't use DaVinci. I don't use Final Cut Pro. So if you're looking for those type of tutorials, I'm sorry. This might not be the spot for you. But if you're an Adobe person like your girl, this might be the spot for you. So let's just get right into it. Today, we're going to be in Premiere Pro. And I'm going to teach you guys what's called a slow shutter effect. Me personally, I like to call it the trippy, glitchy trail effect. But for, for purposes, just call it the slow shutter effect, okay? Now, the first thing you want to do, obviously, is open up Premiere Pro. If you already started editing and now you want to just add this effect, just select the clip that you want. For me, I'm just going to take the clip here, drag and drop. Matter of fact, let me start over because this already has all the effects on it. So I have a drag and drop my clip into Premiere Pro. Please ignore the uh, adjustment layer. I just put a LUT on there just to color it a little bit. Um, but before we even really get started into the actual effect, it's my recommendation that you use this on a darker clip, like a darker um, music video or recap video. Um, maybe for like a concert where it's a little bit darker. It does, the effect does work better on darker clips. And the reason that it works better on darker clips is because you're basically going to be multiplying the clips, right? So what that means is that you're going to be multiplying not only the actual footage, but you'll be multiplying the exposure, the contrast, highlights, shadows, all of that. So it's essentially going to make it a lot brighter. So if, our, if, so if it's already a brighter clip, um, it's going to kind of, it's just going to wash out, wash out the effect and wash out the clip. So I definitely recommend using this for a darker clip. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over to effects. We're going to type in transform. All right. We're going to drag and drop transform onto the clip. And from there we are going to deselect use compositions. I think it says use composition shutter, but we're going to deselect that and we're going to set the shutter angle at 360. Now, what we're going to be messing around with in transform is scale and position. So we're going to basically be keyframing it to add extra movement and motion to the clip. Okay. This clip already has quite a bit, so I'm not going to do a ton. Um, but they, you know, I do recommend if it's a stationary clip, like every few, every few key, every few frames, <laughs> every few frames, keyframe it and then make a move on it. So we're going to click the keyframe icon right here, move it over a little bit. Here's a big key though. If you want to shift the clip either to the right or to the left or up or down it is important that you scale up meaning you um kind of zoom in on the clip because if you don't look here if i move it down you see that gap this is where the clip ends we don't want to see that bar okay so in order to make any type of real movements to the clip you need to make sure that you're zooming in to the clip a little bit you're scaling it up okay so right here i'm gonna go about 115 I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. Okay, move back over. And I'm gonna speed through this really quick for you guys so I'm not taking up too much of your time. All right, cool. So we added some extra motion. Now, when you're doing this, you wanna try to keep the subject or the subjects kind of close to the middle of the frame. It just helps when we add the ghosting or the trail effect to it to give it a little additional, um, additional movement. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to effects again. We're gonna type in posterize. And we're gonna get posterized time, okay? Not posterized, but posterized time. We're gonna drag and drop that over here. Then we're gonna come back over to the effects control panel right over here. And we're going to set the frame rate to eight. And then we're gonna bring posterized time above transform, okay? Now, the reason that we're setting the, the um, frame rate to eight is that I found that the sweet spot is between six and 10. So somewhere anywhere between six and 10 is kind of a sweet spot that's gonna yield the best results. All right, now let's go ahead and preview this clip. Okay, so now what you see is that we've added motion and we've added the jitter kind of lag effect. So you can see that it's not moving quite as smooth, which is cool, that's what we want. But we also have added some extra motion to the clip as well, okay? So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to effects again and type in echo. Drag and drop echo. Again, we're gonna bring echo to the top. So above posterized time in effects control. Okay. And you can already see right here, this is what I was talking about. See how it's super washed out and overexposed? 
Um, that's what I was referring to before. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the echoes to, let's say four, I'm set the echo time to negative 0.1 and I'm going to set the decay to 0.7. Now this is super, super washed out, right? So now what we have to do is we have to go over to Lumetri color and I'm going to bring down contrast as like a lot highlights a lot shadows a good chunk I'm bring the whites down a little bit i'm gonna darken the blacks and i'm going to bring the exposure down maybe like 0.3 and um let's go ahead and render this out really quick so we can see what it's looking like and decide if we want to make any additional changes so like i said we're doing this in the lumetri color um because like i said before when we start adding those echoes and we start uh, multiplying it, it gets it makes the clip way too bright. So we're basically trying to fix it so it would match as close as possible to what the clip looked like prior to. Like we're gonna have this extra motion ghost effect regardless. And if you really wanted to to keep it real with you, like let's say I went to echo and instead of four, I was like, yeah, let's just do three. Let's bring it down a little bit so it's not quite as bright. time and see how that works so like i said i think that that's a really cool clip me personally i like my stuff to look just a little bit different than everybody else's stuff um so i'm gonna add a little super eight joint right here okay i'm gonna expand that a little bit okay when you do that of course you got to go to blend mode and uh we're gonna scream and then for me i also like to add a little film blur so let me find that really quick or film excuse me film burn so in addition to that i'm gonna add one of my favorite film burns on top of it just to give it like a little extra funky like i said over here over here we are gonna try to make sure your stuff is not looking like everybody else's stuff all right sorry to whomever that may have offended but it is what it is okay same thing we're gonna expand this here about two something we're gonna hit the blend mode on that as well <sighs> let's render that out one more time wait for it wait for it. okay there we go now me personally that's a little too much so i'm bringing opacity on that film burn down and then let this thing run let's see if it'll run smooth cool that's fine i ain't gonna lie to y'all that look cool i like that so this is the final product y'all again oh that's kind of cool i like how that turned out but that's how you do the slow shutter effect um in premiere pro hopefully that helped you guys out to be able to put a little like i said a little funky a little flair a little flavor to your clips your, your music videos and your recap videos so that they don't look like everybody else shit yes i would have said anyway um i love you i appreciate you guys every tuesday we are dropping a tutorial tuesday so if you're a visual artist and you're looking for tutorials by all means please hit the comments down below let me know if there's something that you guys are looking to learn and I will be I will be glad to do a tutorial for you all. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Make sure you uh what is it? You got to subscribe, you got to like the video, help the algorithm, help you grow. We're trying to grow the channel. And then um comment, share this. You know, let let the people know that we're what we're trying to do. We're trying to build a community to help everybody um get their their edits and, and everything like that. They're shooting all of that um, to a different level. So yeah, every Tuesday we're dropping a video um, on tutorials. You guys know every Friday we're going to be dropping Free Game Fridays where we talk about business stuff, um, for especially for tailored towards our visual artists. And um, yeah, if you're on Instagram and you want to watch this and follow along and edit while you're doing it, if you see this on Instagram, hop on the YouTube. The link is in, in the bio. Um, and it'll direct you straight to YouTube so you're able to um, follow along and edit while I'm while I'm editing too. So um, yeah, love you guys, appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next week. Peace.